Is USCIS planning to make it harder to become a U.S. citizen? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. According to various news reports, the Trump administration is getting ready to issue a proposed rule change about who can apply for citizenship. And basically what they want to do is limit the ability of who can apply for citizenship based on financial need. What am I talking about? Well, what they want to do is they want to make it harder for people who have obtained any kind of government benefits for themselves or for their U.S. citizen children or family members to be able to apply for citizenship. And so this is really the beginning of the Trump administration's assault on legal immigration. So we've been telling you month after month about how Trump is trying to crack down on so-called illegal immigration or the assault on undocumented immigrants. But now we see what they've really been after. What they've really been after is to make immigration so hard and so difficult in every different aspect of immigration that they can really thwart people and prevent them from coming to the United States, trying to make them tired of going through all the hassle and the delays, and they're really just um, turning it up one more notch. What they want to do is they want to say that if you've received health benefits or if you've received Obamacare or if you've received any kind of food stamps or government benefits at any time or if you're U.S. citizen children who are eligible for those benefits that that would prevent you from being able to become a citizen. Now, what are we really talking about? What we're really talking about is it's an election year. It's 2018 and the Trump administration is trying to worm up its base to get their last remnants of supporters to come to the election booth in November and they think that the way to do that is to vilify immigrants. That's why we've been seeing things like the separation of mothers and children at the border. That's why we've been seeing Trump rail against immigrants at its rallies. And that's why we see this move by immigration to greatly narrow who can apply for citizenship. It's also an assault on the poor. The Trump administration and Stephen Miller and the other right-wingers who are setting our immigration policy, they want to uh, exclude poor people from the United States. And the United States has always historically been a country that's welcoming people, no matter what their situation is, and to think that we're going to means test citizenship, to me, it's, it's wrong. It's just flat wrong and we shouldn't be doing it. And we already have policies and procedures in place to make sure that people can economically support themselves. But when the time comes to apply for citizenship, that should not be a juncture where USAS inquires into somebody's economic ability, their ability to pay, their ability to support themselves. If they are people of good moral character, if they follow the rules, and if they um, follow the law, and if they qualify for citizenship, we, we should not be adding this new layer on top of that. And if we're going to, then we should put it to a vote. Congress should act. Congress should take action. Of course they won't because they're scared of President Trump and they're scared of angering their base. And so this is probably going to become law and we'll report on that later if it does. But for now, you should know that and you should be aware that the Trump administration really wants to make it harder for poor people, uh, immigrants, to become U.S. citizens and it's wrong. And you should talk to your members of Congress. You should call the White House and we should protest this. This should not be something that is law that should not be allowed to go into effect during the notice and comment period. I encourage people to notify USCIS that this is wrong, but it's probably going to go into effect and it's mean-spirited and it's anti-American. So uh, please take action. Please pay attention. And if you are outraged by that, please make sure to let your members of Congress know. If you have any questions about this, about the public charge or about other ways that you can be uh, discriminated against, if you our person lacking means, then I encourage you to give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can always email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. If you have questions or uh, videos that you'd like us to shoot, just shoot us an email, info at hackinglawpractice.com. You can always uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we also have a good Facebook group going called Immigrant Home. We'd be happy to see you there. Thanks a lot and have a great day.